All right, guys, we are off and running today. We are on the Hanvia and we are giving it a ride before we take it to Maryland, making sure everything's okay. We've got a 20 amp hour battery on the back of this thing now. And uh, so we're, I think we got uh, 36 amp hours on this thing. I changed out the tires on it to more aggressive tires because I had them. This thing should be ready to go. I'm making sure that the uh, everything's working on it before I pack it up and get ready to go with it. This is a uh, dual motor bike. I like this thing. It's a good bike to have around for taking with me, like we're going to Maryland. It's a folding bike, so I can fold it up and take it with me. Put the uh, David brand new bars on this thing. Got a better look to it now. This is a Monday. I took the week off, so that's why I'm out here. Not really sure where I'm headed, but uh, we'll go somewhere. <clears throat> These tires, I knew were gonna be a little bit more growly. Well, today is a, uh, there's a heat watch today. Severe weather heat watch. Trying to see what the temperature is, but I can't see it here. It's 80 degrees. That's not that bad. It's the one thing about this bike, the screen, you can't see it real well with my glasses on. So we're presently doing 23 miles an hour, and I've got good pedal. I think anything over this will start uh, pedaling a little too aggressively. Let's punch it up to five, see what we get. Still doing 23, but we are going up a hill. I think I could probably throttle faster than that. Now throttling, throttling at 23 miles an hour up a hill. Oh, I know why. I've only got it in one motor. I'm knocking into two motors. That takes right off of two motors. Like I said, going out on the uh, maiden voyage of this bike after I've redone it, putting the battery on the back, it's in the bag. I can tr put it on bike to bike. That's what I wanted to do with this. Gives me the option of an extra 20 amp hours on Pretty much any bike that's a 48 volt bike, so. Well, according to Siri, it's not gonna rain, but uh, certainly looks like it's gonna rain. I'll tell you, this bike has a big feel to it when you're riding it. It just feels like you're on a 26 inch bike, even though you're on a 20 inch bike. Yeah, so it's Monday, so the, uh, not a lot of people on the road, which is nice. I might hit a rail trail, but there was a rail trail that uh, turns to dirt. I kind of like to see where that goes. Yeah, my uh, ankle's still bothering me, but it doesn't bother me when I'm on the bike, so that's a good thing. I cut the lawn yesterday. I thought I was gonna die afterwards. Sold the Magicycle, that's gone. Get rid of the XP 3.0 also, my wife's bike that she never rode. And uh, that one's actually coming back to have some work done on it because uh, she crashed it. So I had to get the pots, which is not easy to do because they don't sell pots, but I've got them now. Well, I guess this, I said these tires weren't growly. I guess it was just on the pavement that I was on because it's definitely a little growly on this. So I knew they would be, but they, uh, I had these on the electric X premium and I took them off because I put that bike back to factory because uh, I've got that one up for sale, too. I've actually got a lot of people uh, asking me about that one. I got it on for $8.50. They all want to knock you down. And uh, I'm holding to the $800, let us put it that way, as I've got so many people asking about it. Yeah, I'm getting rid of that bike because, hey, I never ride it. That's my trail bike, and I have a new trail bike coming. B, electric discontinued that bike so it's just not worth keeping around i can't say hey you know buy this bike from electric because they don't have it anymore so they have no mid drives anymore good thing about this bike is uh it takes bumps better i got big wide four inch tires on this thing so not too worried about hitting any bumps cracks drains here's a drain didn't even know we hit it. 
This one's got full suspension too. I got suspension on the rear and I got suspension on the front. This is a heck of a bike for the money, guys. And the new one's selling for the same money and it's got a bigger battery on it now. So you can pick that bike up for $1,200. I think I got money off on that bike too. So if you want one of these, make sure you uh, check out my link. I'm pretty sure I've got, uh, I don't know, $100 off or something on this bike. Yeah, this is a good little bike. That's another reason why I got rid of the 3.0 and the Electric X Premium because uh, both those were folding bikes, so they were my folding bikes. And now I got this one, and I would rather take this one with the all-wheel drive. It also did a lot better with the battery, and now I got the second battery, so. I mean, I'm running in four right now to keep up to 23 miles an hour. This bike, I'm pretty sure will do 30 miles an hour on throttle. Let's try throttle in this thing, see what it does. Here we go, 27, 28, Going up a little bit of a hill here. Back to 27. 28, 29. Yeah, so 29 miles an hour. So I'm going down to see Bruce, going for a ride with him. His bikes are fast, so I guess it's a good thing that this thing will throttle to 29 miles an hour. And he said he's bringing Betty, which is the GOAT. And that bike flies. But we're going on a rail, not a rail trail, we're going on a um, canal uh, trail, I guess. So we won't be going too fast. Probably, uh, I don't know. I don't know the area. But that ride will already be done by the time you see this. And uh, I probably won't hold it to the week. Next week, I'll probably edit it, get it out there. So we're going to take a rail trail that we probably, uh, I don't know if I've taken this with you guys before. It doesn't go very far down this way, but uh, then it goes across the road and it goes into dirt. And I did try going down it once and it was like a swamp and I couldn't get through it. So I'm gonna see what it is today and see if it's uh, passable. I don't know how I could be down one battery bar on this already. All right, we're back up and running here. So we were only run, running on the rear battery. And now we're running on both. And that's because I played with the key. So I've got it in pass two right now so that we can go down this rail trail at about 15 miles an hour instead of speeding like crazy. I wonder if there's any fish in here. I bet you there is. I don't see any. Uh, any movement out there though. So what do we have going on in the world of biking at Gary's E-Bike Adventures? We have another trike coming at some point. I have um, got notification about shipping, but they didn't say it's shipped. They just wanted to know um, if I could get a have something received at my house, which depending, if they're gonna send it in a tractor trailer truck, that would be a no. Yeah, if it's gonna come in a tractor trailer truck, they don't like to come down my road because I'm in the last house on a dead end. So I'll have it delivered to work if that's the case. But that spy tan should be coming in in the next couple of weeks, I guess. We're kind of excited about that. And we can compare it to that uh, reverse trike that I already got that I have to do some work on and uh, to get that thing more safe to ride. So I've been watching the uh, 630 Facebook group. A couple of people got that bike and uh, yeah, they're complaining about it. So I don't know what the uh, CEO is gonna do. I know he was looking into hydraulic brakes himself. He might be waiting on me to see what I say. I do have that Cane Creek bearing. I may put that in this afternoon after I get home. But like I said, I want to get this ride in. Back to what we got coming in. So we got the Spy TN coming in. We got that Cyber Bike coming in at some point. And we have another trike coming in. No, they did not give it to me. I paid full price for it. I actually found a coupon and got enough $50 off, but uh, 
I don't know. I want to try to get the thing ordered before the prices go up because this tariff is going to raise the prices quite a bit. It's a $2,500 trike. It's actually over $2,500. So, so $2,500 is going to give you $625 more dollars on that bike for the tariff. So I didn't want it to go up. And I don't think these companies are even aware of what it really is, this tariff. Because I know Mooncool, I asked the, uh, the woman about it, and she's like, oh, we don't pay taxes to the United States. We're all set. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, they're going to get some bikes to the port, and they're going to go, oh, what do you mean we uh, need to send you guys, why are you guys some money? So that'll be interesting. We are almost to the end of the paved rail trail. Like I said, I'm going to try going down the other part, because I wanted to do it last year. This bike is a good contender for it. Well, the new one I got coming in is the best contender for it, but uh, this is all wheel drive. So I've got the, uh, I've got the means to go down it. So long as it's not all swampy, because I don't feel like getting wet. And I don't have the shoes on to get wet. So we are going to do a ride when we get down to Bruce's. So that'll be fun. He's going to, uh, to do his also, so he will have one on his channel. And knock the pass up here so I can get across this road when I have to. It's got to be a fun road to get across. I think we got our chance coming up. Like I said, this is the town that I always say they didn't step up and uh, fix the trail. This is horrible. It's all rocks. I mean, they didn't even bring any dirt in. They pulled the tracks out, and that's about it. So. Yeah, I took the, uh, the one that I've got up for sale, the X Premium, down this thing, and it, I, was, uh, I was really bumping all over the place in that thing. No suspension in it. It's got a front fork on it. No rear suspension. A lot of uh, ups and downs there, which usually means somebody rides on it with a uh, dirt bike or something which I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I can definitely see where dirt bikes have gone through. Kind of like going over moguls. Definitely a tractor or something came down here. And maybe this is why. Oh, yeah. See, this thing's gonna get unpassable in a minute here. We're gonna to have to get off the bike here to get over these two trees. All right. Well, this is where it was all water the last time, so no water today. Definitely uh, not a very good trail. This is kind of uh, crazy here, but let's see. Need a dropper post on this thing. Oh, looks like the tracks are still down here. Yep, we still got tracks there. I think we'll uh, definitely not go home the same way. Because this is uh, not exactly what I'd call a great trail. But, like I said, I wanted to do it. And uh, we're doing it. Doing it on throttle right now because it's just easier than pedaling. Well, now there's a brook here, so I don't think I'm going to be going through that. Eh, I could probably make it through that. 
We'll find out in a minute, that's for sure. I definitely could walk it over. I guess that's what I'll do. Well, we're exploring today. Not exactly uh, what I thought I'd be doing. Good thing I got an all-wheel drive bike, though. Probably ought to put it in one. Well, the nice thing is it's towing me up this hill. Because remember, my uh, ankle's killing me. This trail needs a lot of work. Well, this is interesting. I think I'd rather have the uh, cyber bike today, though. That thing's uh, 52 pounds. Well, we got a tunnel to go through here. So I don't get, I don't get this whole thing. I don't think I'm going through the tunnel either. I can get up here, but it doesn't mean I can get down. Let's see if there's a, uh, a way up here. Maybe to get down there. I think maybe over here. No, well, that's a driveway. I'm surprised this camera's staying. I actually bought a different mount, and it's actually staying there. This one you actually got to put on with an Allen wrench, so. So I guess I would have had to go through that tunnel to stay down there. This is not a very wide road, that's for sure. But I think I'm done exploring that trail. So we will uh, try to make it out on the road here. Try to get back. Nice thing is, it's a fast bike. I've got a nice curb here, so I'm leaving my right pedal up so I don't hit it. The Rail Trail e-bike store over there, but uh, they're not open on Mondays or Tuesdays. We're almost about to get back to that rail trail, so. This is the road that we crossed when we came out of the paved rail trail there. Yeah, I believe that rail trail is coming up right around the corner here. And there it is. It's weird, this, uh, I just realized that it likes, if you're pedaling really slow, it, um, it doesn't turn on the motor, which is kind of nice in a way. So if I slow my canvas way down, the motor just stops. Because um, I was wondering, I'm like, what is wrong with the motor? Because I, I knocked it all the way up to pass four before it took off, so. Yeah, there's no motor at all. 10 miles an hour, I'm in pass two. Um, but if I pedal, if I drop a gear, and see, it starts to take right off. So it's almost like a torque sensor. So it's not a bad day though, considering they got a uh, warning that it's going to be so warm out today. So we might as well just keep going down the rail trail. So this will put us out by the airport if we go all the way down. So yeah, we got, uh, like I said, got that cyber bike coming in. Two trikes coming in. One's a regular trike. It's a uh, very powerful trike though. I, w I ordered so a lot of you guys watch Richard. He's got that uh, HJM trike, and he loves it. He's got last year's model, so I just ordered this year's model. It's got a 1,000-watt motor in it, so I'm really curious to... Uh, I don't think there's any other trikes out there with a 1,000-watt motor in it. So, you know me, I was like, ooh, 1,000-watt motor. And uh, it says it does 20 miles an hour, and I hope that's not unlocked um, and I can unlock it and it, you know I, I would like to get 25 out of it if I could get 25 I'd be happy if not whatever I guess 20 miles an hour but I want to set that one up for the road for sure I'd like to come down here with the trike I don't know if I could get down the road who knows like I said if I can get a bike trike that goes 25 miles an hour I would um, I would get into uh, to some of the roads. I don't feel like it's that wide anymore when I'm driving down the road, so. 
630 bike is definitely a contender for the road. I just got to get it so it's not so scary. I had some friends over the other day, and uh, I won't let anybody ride that thing. But I had, um, I was riding it around showing them how it handles and stuff. And I came flying in the driveway showing off, hit the brakes, and skid my self to death so uh, it's just a weird feeling so I, I mean that Cane Creek bearing may solve some of the issue with that because it won't yank it out of your hands hopefully then the brakes the hydraulic brakes will solve it but it's been a week now since I ordered those brakes and it's supposed to take two to three so hopefully by the time I get back they'll be here but I get stuff from China a lot, and it takes a good 15 days or 20 days, depending on uh, what you get. And I know the last time I checked on it, which was uh, like three days after I ordered it, it was still sitting there. So they say it's shipped, but it's, it's not really shipped. They send you the thing in Chinese, but I have a uh, software that interprets what it says. I guess the nice thing about these tires are they do make a little bit of noise, so everybody hears me coming. They're not obnoxious, though. So this battery dropped that one battery bar, but it hasn't dropped since, so... But we're not putting a ton of miles on it either right now. Bruce said we're going to be doing around 30 or 40 miles, so I just got to make sure this bike can get 30 or 40 miles on it. It's just I don't like to see the battery bars drop down that fast, because usually thing lasts forever and then once the battery bus starts dropping down you go holy crap it goes fast but I am gonna run this thing as long as I can because I do want to see the mileage that I'm gonna be able to get out of it so I'm gonna guess we're somewhere around 20 miles since we left so I know I can get the 30 miles out of this battery that's for sure but I want to see if I can get 50 out of it and then I will charge these batteries up and pack them away. I don't even know if I've ever taken a battery out of the tube on this thing. I'm sure I have. But I'm going to need to bring them inside the uh, hotel room to charge them. They'll be charged initially for the ride with Bruce, but uh, if I want to go out again, I'll have to pull the batteries. Yeah, this bike's a nice little bike for, uh, for the money. I actually took some pictures of it yesterday after I put the, uh, the handlebars on and stuff. Put it on their Facebook page and uh, quite a few people are chiming in on it. They want to know all about the handlebars and what I had to do to put them on there. So Probably another video I should have uh, recorded, but I didn't. Well, considering they said today was going to be so hot, I was going to do a ride yesterday, but I ended up working on this bike the whole time. Like I said, I cut the lawn yesterday, and man, I was limping like crazy. I mean, I was gonna do the, the tires last night, and I was like, you know what, I gotta get off this foot. We're down, I don't know, see the battery buzz, it's hard to see. I think we're down too. Dirt in my eyes from that lawnmower. He's running it without a guard on it. That's also blowing all the grass into the road, which isn't the greatest motorcycles or bikes. Still trying to see, pretty sure we're down two battery buzz. I just saw where we normally go to walk around the bike. And uh, they finally took that stupid gate out of there. They put rocks over there so you can't drive out there, but it's a pain in the neck trying to go around that gate. They also made it so you could park over there a little bit. So what are we at? We are at uh, about 27 miles. Yep, I just see the uh, battery's not half used up, but it's two bars down. Looks like there's five bars, so. And like I said, I'm running at a pretty good clip here. And four, doing 21 miles an hour. It's a lot of uh, little trails around this reservoir that I'll probably do on the cyber bike. They are single trail trails. I'm not even sure there's a lot of bikes out there, but I'm pretty sure I can get out there. It makes a big difference when you drop that front motor in this thing, I'll tell you. 
Not running it though, because I don't need to run it. I just want a little extra oomph coming up that hill there. Like I said, I didn't wasn't a big fan of dual motor bikes until I get this one. Now I'm a fan. So Bruce has a bike that's a dual motor 26 inch bike. He was uh, so he was going to bring that one, but uh, he's bringing the goat. So he said he'd bring Betty. It's easier on his uh, his legs. I think he's got a uh, I don't know what he said 80 tooth crank on that thing. I can't wait to see that. No, no rain today. I guess Lexa was right or uh, Siri. Almost done on the rail trail. I don't know if I'm going to hit it or not. I would probably like to crank some more miles on this thing though, just to see what it empties out at. Coming up on the highway bridge now, so I can try to see what the screen says. Yep, two battery bars left. I think I'll punch this thing up into five and see what we can get out of it. We're at uh, uh, 30 miles anyways. Five ought to kill this thing and I got the dual motors on, so I'll throttle it. Things throttling it along at 27, 28 miles an hour. Just trying to run some miles on it. I'm using a lot of throttle too, so. I'm also using the throttle because my leg is starting to hurt me, so. I don't want to wipe out my uh, ankle. Still got those two bars. The electric trike. I changed the brake rotor on that to another rotor that I had. It actually came off the bike that had noisy brakes. It seems to have quieted it down. Now it just makes a grinding noise, kind of, you know, like a normal brake, but a little bit louder. And I can live with that over a squeak. Bruce got a scooter. It was his first uh, free thing that he got. I would like somebody to send me a scooter. Well, any scooter companies out there that would like to send me a scooter, I would love to try one. My wife says she'd like to try it too. Almost makes me want to buy one, but I gotta stop buying things. We are down to one bar, but we've been running on five and I've been running on the throttle and I got the dual motors on. This thing's got relatively good pedal. I'm 26 miles an hour and I'm still pedaling not extremely fast. Well, this bike's got 150 miles on it now. And this thing has no, no slum when it comes to uh, going up hills, that's for sure.